Welcome back to Streamers Reloaded, my name is Tom and let's get right into the news. And the first one for today, main part comes from Sunday and spans into the week. I originally wasn't going to cover this one but things have progressed and it suddenly seems necessary. So this one actually begins with Slicker who told us last Tuesday that he found out Pokimane had unfollowed him and he believes it had to do with shipping memes. I think that's why she unfollowed me dude. She unfollowed me on Twitch, you know that right? But I think it's because when I said to Hassan, I said, you and Pokey have something going on. And I think she saw that and she unfollowed me because of that. Ah. How do you know she unfollowed you? So when you go on Twitch metrics, you you obviously go down. People obviously be there saying you're a stalker. But it shows it, right? And I, and then I went down. I was like, hmm, I must have got some big ass person that's following me. And then when I went, I was like, wait, someone unfollowed me. I was like, wait, where's Pokimane? And Pokimane wasn't there anymore. This is where we come on to Sunday with the streamer Def39 and once again Pokimane. On stream Def39 shared that in private DMs, Pokimane was asking why Daff unfollowed her. Daff told us that Pokimane was being super weird about it and then she followed on to badmouth Pokimane. The reason that this topic came up is because of a tweet Pokey made saying, good friends are a treasure worth more than anything in the world. Daff believed this tweet to be about her and so this topic came up. And given the, the, like, the weird subtweeting she does, I really don't give a uh, I literally had her on mute, and then I was like, okay, well, I'm just gonna unfollow. And then she asked me, and I was like, I don't- I don't watch your stuff. And then she was like, oh, so it's about Slicker. I'm like, no, I don't watch your stuff. And then she was, she kept sending me, like, the- the flush- like, the blushing smile emoji. And I was like, this is weird as f Because I don't think you're making that same expression in real life. I think you are seething. Ruthless businesswoman? I'm sorry that I can't be your gateway for making LSF like you more. That's not that's not on me, dude. Daff then finished up her conversation on Pokimane saying that she didn't even recently unfollow Pokey. She hasn't been following Pokey for a very long time, and the only reason she unfollowed is because Daff doesn't even watch Pokey's content. I just thought it was crazy that she has her head so far up her own ass that she thinks I unfollowed her because she unfollowed Slicker, which Slicker talked about on his stream. But in reality, I unfollowed her months ago because I don't watch her stuff. This topic came up once again an hour later, this time with Daft talking about her relationship status with Pokey and whether they can continue to be friends. Do I care if she's mad? Not really. Uh, you know, I wouldn't even be, like, to be honest, I could, I could see us being friends in like, in, in, in some time if she becomes a likable person. Slicker shortly after found out about this drama and gave an update on how he dealt with Pokimane, telling us that in response it truly isn't a big deal, but he did unfollow Pokimane on all social medias. The situation is this, I unfollowed Pokimane on all social pl platforms, um, I don't want her to follow me back again, no beef, but we just, that's how it's gonna be, you get me boys? At this point, Pink Sparkles then got involved leaving her own opinion on Twitter saying, Imagine unfollowing other male streamers because you don't want your own viewers, as a female streamer, to think you might be romantically interested in them, so that you can keep up the girlfriend marital status for money. Can't relate. This tweet was shortly after removed, but it is a subtweet directed at Pokimane, and it refers to Slicker. She then changed this tweet with three new tweets saying, I've always been honest with what I do and who I'm dating on my stream. I've done a lot of dumb stuff throughout my streaming career that I regret. But giving people hope that they might get to date me if they donate enough money is not one of them. Not about anyone in particular, just see this so often on Twitch with viewers donating in hopes of dating streamers, even though they're already in a relationship or just leading them on. Anyway, if anyone wants to talk stuff about me or my relationship, just know that Asman brought me to Goodwill yesterday and paid a whopping $20 for clothes I bought, living in luxury. Then we go back to the original clip and 39 Def has left a response to the original Reddit post. So from the top, 39 Def posts, yeah, we're gonna put my thoughts here so I get it straight out there. Yeah, I know I'm a hypocrite and I know I had no reason to talk about this besides the fact it would bring more attention to her as a questionable individual. I could have left it alone and carried on with my life, but I chose not to because her passive aggressiveness and history with people robbed me the wrong way. And I called her out for it publicly because a lot of people seem to be afraid of addressing her like that. I only feel sorry for letting down people who thought I was some grand moral person because I'm obviously not. I gave in to pettiness because I don't like what she said to me and done to my friends and that everyone has 
has to be so hush hush. You all won't remember this stuff in a week anyway, and neither will I. But at least I'm glad I won't have any associates trying to act fake with me. And then finishing up with the clarification saying, I unfollowed her because I don't watch her stuff. I set stuff on fire because I don't like her. And then the last piece of information that came from Sunday is XQC's opinion saying that on stream, that 39 Daft shouldn't have leaked the DMs in the first place. I like people, okay, and hate on everybody uh, just as much as, as the next person. But since when is like leaking DMs okay? I, I don't get it. What, why leak DMs? That's, that's just gonna, that's just gonna f up. I, I think I added the golden rule. You just don't leak DMs. You just don't do that. And then we come onto Monday, which after this previous tweet from Pink Sparkles that she removed, she received a lot of hate through Reddit and responses to the original tweet. She responded to this through her Instagram saying, Reddit really has hate for me lol. I said what I said, I'm an effing B, but at least I'm not a fake nice person. You'll always get the real truth from me and I'm proud of myself for that. Then we come onto Tuesday and Pokemon has decided to respond to all the comments and things Daph said. Poke did a shorter, just over an hour stream if you don't count the introduction named Let's Talk, addressing drama, rumours, etc. So first up Pokemon responded to why she unfollowed Slicker, saying on stream that she unfollowed because she doesn't watch him, it wasn't anything personal. Then responding to the Daft situation, first showing the messages between them two explaining that she thinks Daft unfollowing her was in response to Pokey unfollowing Slicker. Basically the day before this I spoke with Slicker and I said I only unfollowed you on Twitch because I don't watch your content. And I know that her and Slicker are friends, so I figured perhaps they had talked about the situation, and so she was doing to me exactly what I said to Slicker. Poki then goes on to talk about the emo, saying that Daph simply took it the wrong way. Then going on to the previous Reddit comment that Daph left, focusing on one part, Poki believes that Daph is being inconsistent with her reasoning. I gave into pettiness because I don't like what she said to me and done to my friends, and that everyone has to be so hush hush. And that made it clear to me that her issue with me was not just because she didn't watch my content, but it had more to do with how I supposedly treated her friends and her, which I am still unsure about. Um, it's simply inconsistent with what she told me privately. I won't lie, it rubbed me the wrong way that I spoke to her around noon Japan time, and by that same afternoon, she was on stream talking about me, fully well knowing what would come out of that. And all the comments she's made regarding me having my head up my own ass and feeling like she needs to defend her friends from this evil, ruthless businesswoman does make me feel like I wasn't far off the mark. I'm not excusing what I said, though. I'm just explaining where I was coming from. Poki then finishes up the whole Daft situation explaining the subtweeting. She first says that she did do one subtweet, but going in later when Poki explains the subtweeting, she says that it actually has more to do with Albert and his now ex. 39 Daft has made a sort of final response on stream, and in the following clip she does confirm one thing. The whole unfollowing debacle wasn't only because Daft doesn't watch her content. She does say in the clip that she does not like her as well. So finally, for this whole situation, here is that final response. Okay, viewers first. See? Like, people that are accusing me for farming this for clout- I mean, yeah, I wanted to stir up a shitstorm because I don't like her. I don't like the things that she's done to other streamers. I don't like how passive-aggressive she is to other people. Uh, I don't like how she's a hypocrite. I know I I'm a hypocrite, too. But I have to- I, ha I felt like I had to say something about it, even though it would paint me as a bad person. You know what? I said something that a lot of people are scared to say. And then we have a few more pieces in the news from Tuesday. The first one comes from Bone Clinks, who I have previously mentioned a few times now. He has been banned once again, posting to Twitter, Welp, I'm banned again and received no email why at all. This is getting frustrating. Twitch, I would ask my partner contact, but it's been deemed unnecessary for me to have one. Now for the long wait for partner support to answer. Day two banned from Twitch with no email telling me why or any word from any Twitch staff. Told to use the support portal. They still haven't replied to my old messages from my first ban. Starting to really feel like Twitch doesn't care. And so far there has been no resolution to this, so Bone Clinks is still banned and we don't know why. And the last one for today comes from Mitch Jones who believes he's been shadow banned from Twitch. First off, what do I mean by shadow banned? Well it's pretty simple. When Mitch goes live, even though he's categorised properly, he doesn't show up under the section. Mitch has posted, Hi Twitch, whenever I go live for like 30 minutes, I get unlisted for the rest of the stream. I don't show up as live in the follower list, and I'm not listed in the game section. This has been happening every stream for weeks now. Submitted to 
support ticket, no response, please help. He's also shown proof of this happening on stream. On Tuesday, he showed that even though he had over 1800 viewers, he wasn't even showing up in the World of Warcraft section, despite being the top streamer. So lastly for this one, here is that clip. World of Warcraft. I'm not here. Why? This is ridiculous, bro. Search your name. Mitch Jones. And that's actually it for the video today. And I finally want to say that Sunday's video did have to be taken down due to a copyright claim. So for anyone who tries to find it or does not know, that's why. But that's it for the video today. I want to thank you all for watching as normal. And I hope to see you in the next one. Thank you.